Hi, this is Missy here with Smarter Q, and in this video, I'll be walking through how to view and manage the queue. Easily keep track of your content in one place inside the queue. Here you'll find a library of all the unique posts you have created or imported and a future timeline of when they will be published to your followers. Let's take a look. Here we are inside the queue in list view. You can see that the posts are listed in chronological order of when they will be published. The order of your posts is based on the post timings you set up when creating your content. Some may be auto-scheduled based on the time slots inside your posting plan, while other posts may be pinned to specific dates and others are set to recur at daily, weekly, or yearly intervals. Use the buttons in the upper right-hand corner of the queue to toggle to week and month view. Inside week view, you can then use the arrow buttons to navigate between future weeks. You can also click to show unused time slots. These grayed out time slots appear alongside your queued posts, making it easy to see where you may want to add more content. You can click the three dots on an unused time slot to quickly add a post to that profile and category and fill in the gaps. Let's switch to view by month. This high level view is ideal for seeing all of the posts that will be published each day in an entire month. Use the top menu to group your posts by social profile or category to get a better overview of the content you have scheduled. Okay, let's toggle back to list view. Preview your posts and see exactly what they will look like on each social platform by clicking the eye icon. If you need to edit your post, click the pencil icon to open the post editor once again. Use the filters on the left hand side to cut the noise and quickly find content in your queue. You can filter by social profile, category, post timings, or type of content. To find a specific post, use the search bar on the top of the filters to look up any keywords. If you'd like to reorder your content, there are several different ways to do so. To reorder a specific post, click on the cross arrows next to it. This will automatically filter your queue for the right profile and category combination. You can then drag and drop your posts into the order you'd prefer. If you'd like to randomize your content entirely inside of your queue, click the shuffle option in the top right. This will shuffle all posts that are currently visible in your queue. Though keep in mind this won't affect posts that are pinned to specific dates or set to recur on regular intervals. A pop-up confirmation window will appear and you can let fate decide the order of your posts. Though do note this action can't be reversed. You can also just send a specific post to the top or bottom of the queue by clicking on the three dots within a post and selecting the option you prefer. If when creating a post you use schedule to manually select specific dates and times, then it will be scheduled independent of the posting plan and pinned to its own specific times and marked with a pin icon. Here we can see this post is pinned to this specific date and time. If you use recurring to set a post to repeat daily, weekly, or yearly, then it too will be scheduled independent of the posting plan and will be marked with a recurring icon. You'll notice several other icons for different types of posts. For example, this is an evergreen post with two variations, set to recycle then expire after either 10 posts or on May 11th, 2021. You can hover over each icon for more information. All right, let's take a look at some of our evergreen posts now. You can think of the evergreen posts in your queue as being like a deck of cards. Each time a post is published, it is either discarded or moves to the bottom of the deck based on whether or not you've set the post to be evergreen and recycle. If the post is evergreen, you'll see a green icon with the number of the cycle. Whenever an evergreen post is published, it is then moved to the bottom of the queue where it waits in turn to be posted again on its next cycle. Ensure your queue never runs dry by including evergreen content in your social strategy. Alternatively, when a one-time post is published, it is then removed from the queue and the next item in your queue becomes the top item. Keep in mind that recurring posts and posts pinned to specific dates and times are not scheduled based on the posting plan and don't follow the same evergreen recycling rules. If you ever need to temporarily stop sending out content, you can easily pause your entire queue or just specific profiles, categories, or profile category combinations. 
To do so, you'll need to access your pause settings by clicking the pause queue button in the upper right corner of the queue. From here, you can select the red pause all publishing button to pause your entire queue. If you want more detailed control over which categories or profiles you want to pause, use the grid on the pause settings page. Click pause beside one of the rows in the table to pause that category across all of your social profiles. Or click pause at the top of a column to pause all categories for a specific profile. Or pause a specific profile category combination. If any of your categories are seasonal, you can have them automatically pause and unpause on specific dates each year. If you've paused your entire queue, you'll see a red message at the top of your queue as well as a warning in the right-hand info pane. You'll also see a red paused notice on each post that is paused. When you see this, that means your post will not be published at its scheduled time. All right, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch by sending an email to hello at smarterq.com.